in terms of you know what, what I do and the people I'm associated with, the question we always ask people is, well, the way we pose the challenge is, what do we want this place to look like in 50 years? Because if you can create a picture of where you want to get to, then you can get there. And I just want to tell you a story because about three years ago, I met uh, a fellow named Jamie Swanson of the Cowichan Tribes on Vancouver Island. And uh, we were doing a showcasing animation series over there. And, and Jamie said to me, well, you know, to get the big picture, you start with the smallest pieces. And I said, come again, Jamie? What do you mean by that? And he explained, he said, in terms of protecting the, the Cowichan River, he said it starts with the foundation drain around the band office. And he said, come on outside, I'll show you. Now, of course, he really couldn't show you because he was talking about foundation drain, which was buried, right? But the point was, he was really keen about the standard he developed of how to infiltrate the water around that building. He said, because it starts right here, Kim, because how we manage the water at our band office has a direct correlation with the health of the Cowichan River. So it always stuck in my mind. To get to the big picture, you start with the smallest pieces. Now, sort of bringing more to a technique, techie level, in terms of dealing with uncertainty, this is what we're dealing with. We're dealing with, with, with uncertainty and we're managing risk. That's the essence of, of what people like myself do in, in, our, in our careers, because there's no definite answers. So we build resiliency incrementally. So what that means is a lot of little things that we need to be doing, and that's where we're going to be going with this conversation. 